Hey everybody, I've been looking for a solution to drive straight holes with my hand drill because honestly I'm not very good at it. But I don't have a drill press and I don't really have the budget for one right now. So I did some research and I came up with something called a drill block or sometimes called a drill guide which are much less expensive than even a cheap drill press. So I ordered one. Today I'm going to pull it out of its packaging, I'm going to give it a try, and then I'll do a review. So let's get going. My name is James and you have found Homestyle Woodcrafts. The one I ordered is the V Drill Guide in the ANSI standard from Big Gator Tools. And I don't know if you can read this writing right here, but it ranges from 1 8 inch to 3 8 inch. And I believe the increments between hole to hole are 1 64th inch. Um, BigGatorTools.com. I think this must be the model number. So there it is. It came in this nice little plastic packaging. It's got a hole to hang it. I hung it on my pegboard until I was ready to open it up today. So let's give it an open. Okay, so first impressions. Feel solid. It's got the numbers marked and they're etched into uh, the tool. And it looks like there's markings so you can line up the particular hole with any markings you may have on your workpiece. And it looks like they're on this side as well. On the bottom, there is a, let's see, you can see that, a V groove. And that's supposed to allow it to be used on things like corners and um, round things like dowel or pipe. Um, just a few things about it. It has 17 drill sizes. Um, it cost me about 25 bucks. I ordered it online. It's a nickel alloy heat treated steel. It is about five and a half inches long. You'll notice it's fatter down here and then tapered here. So it's I don't know, a little over half an inch, a little down at the tapered end and around the three quarters of an inch those aren't exact so let's see what this thing can do so i've got it set up on a square length of wood and i have it set up on the corner and we're going to give it a try i'm using a 7 32nd inch bit uh, this first time i've used this tool so let's see how it goes that was easy enough Check this out. So there's the hole. Uh, let's see, it's not perfectly centered on there. Let's check out the other side. Okay, so it's not dead on perfect there. So of course it wouldn't be on the other side. The hole is straight. So I don't know if I mounted it a little bit off or if it was the tool. I'm gonna give it another try. This is the first one, there's the second one. I took a little more care in placement and it came out better. So somehow my audio failed me here. But what I'm doing is I use that V groove on the bottom uh, to place on the dowel and then drill the hole. And it worked out really well. And here you'll see that it drilled a straight and true clean hole. So I was very satisfied. Now I'm going to take it to a flat piece of wood, which is really my intended use, and we'll see how it performs there. So I've got a little block of wood, and I'm going to make it into sort of a rudimentary little car. So I'm going to drill two uh, axle holes, and we'll see how this drill guide does. So first I'm going to feed this up through here, like so. I'm going to place my drill bit on the, on the mark. And we'll see how this goes. And my drill died. <laughs> a bit of advice. If you're going to use a cordless drill, make sure the batteries are charged. All right, we're back. Let's... <laughs> Sorry about that. 
All right, looks straight. Let's drill the other one. Okay, for the second hole, well, I missed my mark. It shifted a little on me just because I was holding it in an awkward position to try to get the camera angle. But the hole does look straight. So let's go put the wheels on this thing and see if the wheels turn out straight. All right, well, here's the little car we made, our little wood block car. And the axles seem true. So it rolls all, all four wheels are on the board. Now I'm gonna show you the difference between this using my drill guide and another car I made uh, hand drilling. And you'll see why I wanted a, a drill guide. All right, so the car on the right, the woodblock car is the one we did today. The one on the left is one I did a couple of weeks ago. Looks great this way. You turn them this way, the wheels on our woodblock car look great. And then I turn this way and the wheels don't look so great. This one doesn't even touch uh, the board. And that's because I messed it up hand drilling. Now it's review time. Okay, so my overall impression is a good impression. It seems to be uh, solidly constructed and I thought it did well on all three work pieces. The long squarish, not exactly square piece, the dowel and the flat piece. And all of them, it did drive a straight hole. That's what I was looking for. I didn't have any problems like uh, with sawdust accumulating. Now, of course, I wasn't drooling a lot, um, but anyway, first impressions that way are good. I would say a couple of things about it, um, which uh, they're not really criticisms, they're just the way it is. You will remember that this has little guide marks on the end. And then it's got this on the long end. And these are good marks, they seem precise, but this one, I don't know how well you can see that, doesn't seem like you're gonna be able to line it up really precisely. And so I think that to get a, a precision hole, you are gonna have to insert your drill bit, uh, slide this up the drill bit, set your drill bit down, and then slide this down to the workpiece. Um, not a big deal, just seems like that's the way it's gonna have to happen. Uh, the second thing uh, that I would say is uh, any little problems I had today uh, as we tried it out the first time uh, came with having it secure. I didn't always have it secured as well as I should have looking back. Um, so I would make sure that, that you take the time to secure it well and that will enhance the accuracy and the safety uh, of the use. Now, I just read some writing on the side and it says, never hold the, the drill guide by hand when drilling. Well, okay. Clamp this thing down and make sure it's in place, well secured, and I, it seems like, first review, it's gonna do well. So, if you don't have a drill press, this may be an option for you. So, I look forward to seeing how this works out for me in the long run. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd encourage you to subscribe. Uh, and, to, and to hit that uh, button so that you get notifications when more videos come up. So thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.